Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I've got another developer diary for you today for Gravity Garden, which is my science fiction themed farming simulation for the VR headsets, the Vive and the Rift. And if you want to learn more about the game and uh, find out what it's going to be like, what you're going to be doing in the game, you can uh, check the last developer diary or check out BrainBlinks.com and I've got a page there about the game. And basically today I just want to kind of go over what's new since the last update. It's been a couple months. Uh, made some pretty good progress. Uh, most notably in the graphics and the kind of look and feel of the game. Uh, for instance, we have hands now instead of the, the weird type of the weird kind of cartoony tools we had before. And uh, I just got curious what it would be like to have hands in the game. And I gotta say, I really like it. It just, it just feels better. It feels more natural or more intuitive, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna keep them. And uh, I may in the future have uh, some sort of option for holding tools in your hand or something like this. But for now, I really like just having the hands. And I kind of just have some uh, simple, not animations, but just kind of states for the hands to be in. Like if the menu's open or poses, I guess. Or if you're holding a seed or tossing a seed or harvesting a seed, which is something new in the game. You can now walk up to a ripe fruit and harvest it. Fruits turn colors and stuff when they get ripe now. And for now, you can just re-release it. Um, but soon you'll be able to um, harvest that fruit for its seeds or other kind of in-game resources which will be a big part of the gameplay and i like these kind of individual poses i may experiment with some smoother animations but i like the way they just kind of pop in and out it kind of fits with the lo-fi um, aesthetic of the rest of the game um, also we have a kind of a day night cycle now uh, mostly uh, just to get some variety in the visuals and uh, take advantage of the real-time lighting. We've got real-time lights going on. Might as well change the light source around. You can see that this light source up here is uh, casting shadows of, on all the objects across the landscape and whatnot. Uh, you might also notice we have some clouds up in the sky now and uh, some new stars, lots of new islands. But these clouds... Uh, started the uh, systems that'll let you go around and harvest resources these clouds will give you water you use your harvester you can see up here i've got a energy water and food in my inventory these are kind of physically based clouds too so you can go kind of moving around better i had another system in place before that made the clouds a little more dynamic but it was a resource hog and uh, it was hard to make these interactions um, accurate because I was using a particle system for the clouds. These are actually 3D mesh and they're working pretty well. It's nice to have some dynamic objects going through the world because it's kind of a lonely place. I need to work on some way to make it not so lonely. Um, uh, let's see, you can also harvest energy from the stars up here. And fertilizer, you'll be able to harvest from certain islands that appear and things like that. So that's part of the harvesting tool. You'll also be able to harvest fruits from long distance or somewhat long distance. I want to um, kind of as part of a way to make it as accessible to everybody as possible. I want to make sure that you can do everything without having to get very close to it and manipulate finely with your hands. So I know a lot of people, including members of my family, have trouble using the hands properly. So I want to make sure that it's as easy as possible to get to the stuff that you want to do in this game. Uh, let's see, harvesting, we've got new lights. Oh, we got new sky boxes. Been working on the, the look of the sky boxes and I think I'm going with something like this. This is actually a really cool free tool I found online that lets you generate the sky boxes. So I generated a bunch and then um, fussed with them a bit to make them like I wanted. And let's see, we've got, I like these pixel stars, that might be. So another thing that I've spent quite a bit of time on in the last three months 
uh, it's making these islands that the player is going to be discovering and exploring during the game. And uh, I made quite a few of them. I think I have over 50 of them already. I, I want there to be lots of them so that the player has a, a, a good chance of seeing something new every time they play. And these islands are kind of kind of come popping in and out of this little chunk of the universe and the players going to be exploring and looking for new plants, looking for new places to plant, um, plant their plants. See any right here, but the ones that have soil on them, you'll be able to plant on. And you'll even be able to eventually come out here when you find an island you like, kind of take it into your inventory and come back to your home base and uh, res it and kind of and build up uh, your own little cluster of islands from uh, the ones that you like and the ones that do interesting things or whatever. So, um, I also want to include some a lot of little surprises in these islands, maybe some little Easter eggs, maybe a particle show here or there, or maybe an interactive kind of art piece, or maybe a tiny little puzzle or something, something new and different that the player gets to discover a little reward every time they find something new. Well, maybe not every time, but... Um, so so yeah i guess that's all the new stuff um thanks to everybody who has purchased this game already uh, i know there's not a lot of doing it yet and i really do appreciate the early support um, i really appreciate also any feedback that uh, you offer after you played it it's great to get feedback from new players or anybody really because i can kind of get trapped in my own little bubble here as a you know any developer I, and i only have a kind of limited number of uh, people in my real life circles who are interested in helping me test this stuff so any feedback i get from real world players is uh really important especially in this early access kind of alpha period so um next up i'm going to be working on the harvesting inventory and the game loop next month we should or by the end of this month we should have an actual game loop in the game which will be nice i know a lot of people have been waiting for that uh, before they even want to give the game a try, which is understandable. So, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about all these new changes, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.